walk to class. <laughs> The Activists for Change, FOC, the pressure group behind the Walk to Work campaign, has demanded the immediate release of scores of people who were arrested during riots around Kampala yesterday. They were taken into custody as police fought to stop the protest marches against high commodity prices from taking place. To, to, uh, to, to, to offer pro bono services to these people, we want them in court. Of course, some of our activists have been moving to police stations to ascertain people detained there and the, the, the nature of uh, cases preferred against them. We have taken up most of the people who had stayed by yesterday and they have been charged for ver various offenses ranging from inciting violence, obstruction of, obstruction of traffic, participating in an unlawful assembly and also disobedience of lawful orders plus malicious damage. Today. FOC was due to start the work to pray campaign beginning with mosques, but police has reminded the public not to be involved. Because we have all been going for prayers, but if we now begin thinking that we are going to use prayers, then to turn prayers into demonstrations, then that will be unlawful in one way or another. <laughs> In protests yesterday, various parts of Kampala were engulfed in running battles between police and protesters. But business is back to normal and traffic is flowing. However, a section of business people here are counting losses and are hopeful that these ugly scenes that were recorded here yesterday do not befall them again. Gayaza Road in Kalere Market which were scenes of some of the worst clashes with blockades, was swept clean today and open to traffic. Some vendors in Kalera spoke of the losses they incurred yesterday. Because of tear gas, I failed to sell anything, yet I had just stocked. I have lost around 200,000 shillings. For now, however, all has been come in Kampala with the public going about their businesses. Still be hunger, NTV, Kampala.